What is up, everybody? It's me, Evan Shimko, here with Foiligan Comics and J1A Bob doing our weekly pickups here of the week. I got a little stack of books. I know what you guys got. Let's get rolling here. Which one of y'all want to go first? Actually, you go first. You want me to? All unbox, right. unbox those puppies. Want me to do my pickups first? Sure. Do your pickups. Right. How many pickups do you have, man. though? Like seven bucks. All right. Yeah, just do your pickups. So you got Carnage, Lethal Protector. Full screen one, shelf. Two. My bad. Good idea. There you go. Carnage, Lethal Protector, number one and two. Some pretty nice reads. There are no good books out this week, I felt like, personally. I got two copies of ASM 365. Nice coils. Nice and then a Spider-Man 2099, number one. Even better. Then Venom 6, which completes my Venom run of the Protector. That's it for this week. I ain't go too heavy. All right, let's cheat. This All right, so this will be... LCS type pickup. It's not really my LCS, but I mean, they were for this week. <laughs> um, I didn't get like anything new either. I didn't. I decided not to do some new comic book day. But first, we'll start off Strange Tales one forty eight. It's in rough condition, but it's a nice old key. Um, high grade. It's like one hundred thirty five, one hundred fifty. But um, it is first appearance, but it's a nice beginner. Um, it's a nice beginner copy to uh, for this book, so that'll definitely um, go for sale, and someone will get that. Um, just I thought it would be really cool have a nice beginner copy like that for a Strange Tales key, because a lot of times the Strange Tale keys are like either completely like pages missing type, or it's like phenomenal, and they're super expensive, so. That that might be nice. But I have Darth Maul, number one. I have three of these number twos. Oh, there. Wait. There we go. Three of these. Be going out to CGC. Um, number three. I really dig the cover. Number four. And then, um, I believe I have eight of these number ones, Force Awakens. First appearance of Kylo Ren, um, Ray, and Finn. So I got like eight of those. And then I have number three, which is first appearance of Snoke. And then. That would be it for now. I don't want to show my bangers yet. Because I'm sure J1 A Bob has more than, like, a few. Yeah, you got a nice banger this week. But yeah. I'll do that little stack first, and then All we right. can do my uh, other. I, I, have a, I have a stack here. You always have a stack. <laughs> this, is, this is just the last couple days. I do I have so many comics <laughs> on a regular basis that I... Uh, I, I file every couple days, so. <laughs> we got the uh, Joker, Year of the Villain, number one. This is a, I want to say this is the one in 25. I think, I think, Our, yeah. Batman Beyond, number three. This is a first appearance of, I cannot remember. <laughs> oh, that's um first appearance of, uh, 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 um. Oh gosh! It's we supposed literally... to be his arch nemesis. Oh, blight! There you go. We got a uh, spider getting zero. This is the uh, homage to the Secret Wars. Secret Wars number eight, exactly. Beautiful. Uh, Batman Beyond number thirty-seven. This is the new series. This is the uh, Batwoman Beyond first appearance. This one you can't see what it is. It's 
because it's still got its protective wrap on it. It's a foil comic. This is Super Sons number one, the Tyler Kirkham foil variant. Beautiful yeah. book. Say, so leave it on because I'll show mine. There you go. Uh, we got a Fantastic Four number 540 is a Civil War cover. It's signed by Mike McConey and Adi Granov. Sweet. Bunch of boomers on the front. <laughs> uh, the uh, Mercado Thor 6. Yeah, that one's nice. This is the uh, Venom 25. This is the third print. Nice. Venom 26, Virgin second print. Venom 27. Tyler Kirkham. I love this one. This one's uh, I love the black and the red. This just looks great. Nice. And remember to cut your stack in half because I'll show my other half and then you, we'll go back to you. Oh, yeah. I'll stop right after the, this one. And Captain Marvel number 21. Uh, this Wait. is just a variant cover. I can't remember who did this cover. Wait. But I like it. Oh, um, oh, I forget his name. It'll come to me like right after we end, probably. <laughs> I literally just looked at that cover. <laughs> it's sick. It's nice. so, thank you, thank you. J and A Bob always gets the nice books. Hey, you gotta you gotta pay big to buy, sell big. That's what I say. Yeah. Yep. So here's a package from uh Holding in Comics. I'm gonna open up live here. Awesome. Full screen. And that'll be his pickups that will not be not yeah. the mystery box. Not yet. No, not yet. This is my own choice box. Let's just cut this bad boy open. Which J1, I will be shipping yours out with your uh, books that you've gotten from me, but um, I'm still trying to find that stupid Robin. Get that out of here. Some nice stuff, dude. Can I just of show off my custom Gemini? How dare you? We had a custom German, <laughs> custom Gemini mailer, dude. <laughs> Come on, better you than actually, Gemini. You actually taught me how to make this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an actual way how you can cut it or whatever. That and is actually, so cool. and, and actually make a homemade Gemini type ordeal. <laughs> All right. So we got Droids number one of six. This is a really cool Star Wars book that I've been looking for. It's nice. So I'm gonna pick it up from you. Star Wars Age of the Rebellion, Darth Vader. This is the number one. This is the concept design variant. Yeah, that one's cool. Looks like a blue ink pen. Yeah, that's a really cool cover. This one is still. That's awesome. I don't even know what this is. Let me see. Oh, that is the Vault of Spiders. That's number right. One. You don't even know what I buy. Yeah, <laughs> join the club. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, you're, yeah. I was gonna say, it's like, welcome to the rest of us. <laughs> That'll go on my Spider Verse wall. This one I was really excited for this Harley Quinn book. Oh yeah, sideways. I have a book to pair it with. The other way. <laughs> there you go. There. Yeah, I like I like the style art uh, books. Oh yeah, we covered it. We got Omac issue number one. Oh, that's good. And then Omega issue number one. See, I think they're going to end up doing with some of those something with some of these guys soon. I really do. There's just yeah, gonna, I'm specking on Omega. It's too much Marvel. talk about them. Marvel Premier 16. It's the second Iron Fist. Nice. Let it go out of steel. And, and that's still uh -huh. really cheap. Yeah. Yeah. This is a nice condition, dude. Holy crap. I bring only the finest of wines. Did somebody say CGC? <laughs> or at least CBCS? What do you mean, or at least CBCS? There's no such thing as CBCS. <laughs> Marvel Tales 100. That's cool. 
Yeah, I really like that Marvel Tales cover. That's sick, dude. Thought it was pretty nice. And some more Star Wars goodies. It's the full set. Yeah, this is the full set in the X-Wing. But Star Wars, we got some more Star Wars stuff. Our Dark Horse. It's always good. Oh, that's nice. Really nice chewy cover. Mm -hmm. Solo. Chew eye. That's a cool cover. <laughs> Qui Gon Jin. That's a that's a good book. Yes, sir. And the X Wing. Yeah. Got the full set over here. The X Wing series. Hold on, you froze. Show that one again. My bad. I don't know if it froze on video, but it froze on mine, so we're just going to be it's sure. It's just yours because it's still going on mine. Okay, then it's just mine. All right. You got number 23, 3 of 4. Nice. And then 4 of 4. So you got the full set of that <coughs> X Wing. Is that your new camera, by the way? Me? No. No? Oh. No, why? Oh, it just looks crispy. Yeah. That's my pickups from Foil Gun Comics. Well, not the mystery box, but... You still no, not that. yet. No, 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 no. Must be nice to get your mystery boxes from Foil. Yes. I said I'm going to ship yours out when I find the Robin. <laughs> Dude, it took him, like, every day I asked him, like, a week, like, the last week. <laughs> no, yeah, he kept asking and asking and asking. And it's because I was waiting on some books in here and there that I wanted to put in there because they were good, like, money books. And I was like, these would look dope in the boxes. So I was, like, wanting to make sure and make sure I get some really nice quality books in uh, in the mystery boxes. Full so is I, an awesome seller. Good prices. Sometimes yeah. the best of shippers to his friends. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, I always come through. Yep. It's true. Alrighty. So here I have my next stack. Oh, wait. What we'll do is I'll show my next stack. You show your stack, but J1, save your, like, big banger. Yeah. Or your, or your, or your biggest bangers for the very last. Because I'll All show right, this see, stack, and then I'll save my biggest bangers. Those three aren't going to get shown in this video because I did my first YouTube video that I've been wanting to do an unboxing on. All right. Okay. So, show fair. the. You know which show, three I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. Show okay. the uh, show the like the biggest bangers at okay. the end. Okay. The ones that you're allowed to show. All right. So yeah, but I'll go and show the stack. Assuming Evan can. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Mercy number five. Virgin variant. There, there we go. Yeah, super dope. And then a Harley Quinn blank variant number seventy-five. Yes, I'm showing those two first because they are sold. Um, all new invaders number one. This is a blank. I'll be getting some stuff done on this. Um, this is Exterminators, I believe. Let me make, make sure that's the actual. Oh, Extermination, number one. It's a cool version variant. Ooh, I have an Extermination one. What happened to that series? Is that one of those ones that got canceled with COVID? Uh, maybe. Um, I don't know. It might have been just what, what it was about, too, since it was, like, killing off people. So, <laughs> maybe it did, and they're like, you know what, let's just stop it for now. It's possible. Uh, um, Green Lantern Corps, Brightest Day, number 50. There we go. We have Avengers. Oh, the Uncanny <laughs> Avengers standoff, um, number seven. Oh. <laughs> but I like that though, because they put the two zeros in front. So it's uh, 007. Oh, sweet. Makes me very happy. <laughs> um, 
Wonder Woman Rebirth number 18. There we go. Um, Omega Man number 12. It's pretty dope. And then this is where we start getting in the meat and potatoes. Captain Marvel 18 version variant. Which, Jay, was anything important with that issue or no? Yes, it's a first appearance of somebody. It's a minor. Hey, I couldn't find any character. Uh, it's probably because I wasn't that hard. <laughs> um, wait, wait, here, let me show these before I show uh, the others. Because these these are bangers. Um, Battle of the Planets, number one, black and white. Oh, that's, that's sick. Cool. Yeah. It's a pretty nice cover. Uh, it's a legitimate uh, sketch variant. <laughs> um, as far as you can tell, like it looks like pencil. Not some of these other sketches. Like sketch variants where it's just lines, like solid lines, you know? Like there's actual shading and stuff to that. But next we have Punisher number one variant. That's a cool. Yeah, card. I like that one. Yeah, Ooh, that one. Um, I mean, it almost looks like a Perillo. Perillo. Aha! J1 is good for something. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Get, getting those artist names that no one else, that me and Evan don't know. <laughs> J1A Bob, if you don't know, is our uh, encyclopedia for comics. <laughs> uh, Power Rangers number 50. That uh, Captain Marvel was Lurl L, Captain Marvel's Cree sister. Oh, nice. Yep. There you go. Lore, uh, Laurel, that's right. Thank you, FaceTime. <laughs> um, Bloodshot number one, sweet virgin variant. That's not the bad version. No. This is the terrible version. First, <laughs> the first Valiant stuff is better. Change my mind. No. Um, uh, I didn't even watch the movie. I was going to, but then I heard it was an absolute disgrace. <laughs> so, didn't end up seeing it. Do you have any, Bob? Did you? Of what? Bloodshot. Bloodshot movie? It's actually in my queue to watch. I haven't watched <laughs> it yet. Yeah, I, I haven't watched That's it. Not, That's not good I, I mean, my evenings are taken up so much by comics and family and everything else, man, that it's hard to just... Like, last night was the first time we sat down to watch a movie, and I don't know how long. Yeah. Um, we have Amazing Mary Jane number... Oom. That's cool, dude. It's a very nice cover. And then, this was the one that J1 Bob had in the uh, the protective sleeve that didn't want to take off. Um, I don't have one, and I don't want to put another board in front of this and risk uh, ruining it either. But we have Super Sons, number one. This is the... Unknown Comics exclusive, I believe. Correct me yeah. if I'm wrong. It is. It's the Tyler Kirkham. It's yeah. It's gorgeous. Kachow, 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 kachow. You can see the different colors when the light shines. But yeah, super dope, super nice. Um, yeah, just a just a really nice book overall. As um, far as cover wise, there may be an attempt for a Valiant Cinematic Universe later on. Uh, nice. Thing. He was talking about it before, too, earlier on today. Yep. I'd heard about that. Nice. So pick up everything Valiant you can. Except uh, Bloodshot. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except Bloodshot. Uh, All right. J1A Bob, show your pickups, and then we'll go back to me. Or we'll go back to Evan. So okay. we'll your bangers. Mystery box. Don't uh, do your pickups. Uh, Thor 7, this is the Mercado. Nice. Uh, it's got the uh, Null Wraith cover. I like this one. This one's awesome. Yeah. Cool. I think Null is one of your new favorite characters. And this is hands down my... Like, this, nobody likes this, but I don't think... <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> That's cool. Right? It's That's got freaking... Cool. 
all the you know the all the Avengers out there freaking minimized just about right. I mean, yeah. cool. that I mean, technically, I think should be the first appearance of like Venomized Captain America and all that. You know? yeah. <laughs> and then I got uh, X Men Twelve. This is just a uh, six Psylocke cover. All right. Did you show the one that I picked up from you or no? Or are you going to? Oh, go ahead. Oh, do you want me to? It's in your pile over there. I'll, I'll go get it. No, yeah, See? you should get it and show it because that one's yeah. a beastie one too. Just like, just like foiled, I had this one too. Yes, yes. Right. And then, yeah, for a really low price, Devil Dinosaur number one. Damn. Yeah, Jim and Bob gets lucky with those crazy finds. But that's not the good one out of that lot. The good one that came in that lot was. Yeah, that one. Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur number one. Then we got Amazing Spider Man 360. Just a little cheapo pickup, right? But still, collectible. Hey, I sold that at an auction. With, yeah, uh, yeah. That one's really nice. It's nice. Yeah. And I got a, um, a nice minty. Ah, uh, web of Spider Man. I wish it was a newsstand, but you know, it is what it is. And then I uh picked these up for a low, low price. Uh, Conquest of Wraith number four. four oh, three. This is three, and this is four. And then I picked up a uh, Marvel Point One. Sweet. Spec book. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Slabs. Oh, that's really cool. Slabs of Marvel Point One number one is already worth like, like it, it has the potential. Um, crazy. This is just an, another Avengers. I think it's like 12 or 13, but I love the Rogue Dinosaur cover here. I believe that's 12. That's I what believe. they used to charge for it, but that's not what I got it for. And then I picked up a uh, Batman 94. I like the Joker. Punch yeah. Punch. Right here, that, that's the cover. That one's nice. So this is just going to kind of... This one, I, I think I paid a dollar for. But it's going to it's gonna complete my uh, punchline kind of run. I got the uh, Hell's, Aris Hell's Rising, uh, Hell's Risen, number three. And then... Uh, Batman 89, Batman 92, and then Batman 94. I mean, just good, sick punchline covers. And you oh. guys go ahead and somebody else go, and then I will show on my next one my uh, my big pickup that I can share and the book foil got from me. All right. And drop your channel info on uh, the chat. Okay. So that way you want to go foiled or you want me to go? No, you go and do your mystery box. All right, and, and then I'll go. Keep the keep the right pattern going. So here is the foiled again mystery box. This is my first ever mystery box I purchased. <laughs> I like mystery boxes. Straight X Force number ones, unpolybagged. <laughs> no like cards. With no like, cards included. No with, no, with one card, but it's like ripped in half, and it's like the cheapest one. I can so see you doing that, dude. It's not even like the Deadpool. Wait, it's not a mystery anymore. Is that really what's in here? X-Force number ones? Yeah. No. Oh. I don't think I've put any X-Force number ones in a mystery box. Nice. Because they're not mystery box worthy. <laughs> I might put one in as a joke, but like, I don't know. I, even then, I still feel wrong because that's <laughs> wasted about that's wasted space, space in a yeah. mystery box. And I'd rather give you another good book that you're gonna enjoy. <laughs> Not a custom Gemini, I know. <laughs> hey, those are expensive. Yo, check for pull tabs. Check for pull tabs. That didn't look like a pull tab. No, it wasn't a pull tab. 
All right, I'm just making sure. I don't know what point you're at right now. No. Now there's pull tabs. Dude, my package that thing has pull tabs all over it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the package is just one giant. Ooh, pull tab. this is looking good already, guys. All right. Front Damn. to back. Front to back. Ready? I just yes, flipped sir. it over and I saw this. Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna nice. start from the. I'm gonna start from the bottom and do that one last. So, a Daredevil. Got 252. I think that's a minor, actually. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It's a cool it cover, just, though. That's, that's just a dope cover. I was like, that's, that's cool going cover. in someone's. It's all, it's all red. What's up, Zen World? What's up, Zen World? We got. Ooh. What is up? Two, number four. Oh, that's cool, dude. It's oh, okay, there. okay, okay. I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Death, actually pretty cool. Death of Alfred. Damn. Really nice cover. I really enjoy that. If I were to keep that, I was going to slab it. But I decided to give it away to someone else to enjoy. That is cool. You're to the villain number one? Nice. That's the Marvel previews, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. That is cool, dude. I have nothing near the villain, so it's actually really good. Oh, that's right. You don't have anything near the villain. Nah, but that's cool with Bane. You see Bane over there? Yeah. That's actually really I, cool. I really I like that. the cover. I thought there was a lot of cool stuff That's going actually on. really cool. Damn. Death mate number what number is this? September? I don't know what number that is. Oh. Um that's just number one, right? Is it? I don't know. J1. I know nothing about Death Mate. But it's Valiant, which we were just talking about, so that's perfect. Shiny is foil. It epilogue or prologue? Right under September. Prologue. There you go, that's number one. Alright. Yeah, okay. Did you see the condition on it, though? It's minty, dude. Yeah, I, it's it was surprisingly minty. minty. That's why that's why I decided to throw it in some in a mystery box because it was Ooh, pro- one of the mintiest. 31. That's nice. I love that cover, dude. Dude, that is so cool. She's like fucking throwing this person. And look at the guy who's holding the other thing. number nine. So what what issue number is this? Nine or thirty one? It's. 31, I believe. I'm not sure. J1, yeah, do you see that? No, it's 31. All right. Okay. That's really yeah. cool, dude. I really like that she, that she Hulk cover. I was like, someone's going to someone's gonna cool. dig that, especially with She Hulk getting her own thing. Ooh. Yeah. Clean. I, yeah, because I, that one was clean and pressed. Damn. I decided I to throw that one in because that's just a classic cover right I now. I dig that. I dig the Mylar too. She thing with uh, the thing. But yeah, that put that one cool. in the Mylar. Um, clean and pressed it. Damn. That's sick. That is sick. Tell them how minty it is. That is minty. Yeah. That is oiled minty. Minty, minty, minty. <laughs> Torpedo. Ooh. Sergeant Strikers, Death Squad, number one. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I was going to slab it, but, you know, Wait. it wasn't really worth that much slab. So what year was, is that? Do you know? Uh, I don't even know, dude. It's old. It's Atlas Comics, yeah. so it's, it's older. older. I was going to slab it, but then I figured, I was like, you know what? It's like, it's not even worth that much slab. And I genuinely like don't have that much uh of those war style oh, books yeah which like i don't i don't even know if i have a nom number one because i actually did get the trades for that and uh read that that's really cool dude i do but, believe yeah. that's 70s that's i think cool. i think you're right it's either like 70s or like early 60s i mean late 60s you got the savage dragon and the Savage Megaton Man? I don't yeah. have it, so that's cool. That's actually a pretty cool book. 
It's That's worth it. reading. Did yeah. you end up reading it, J1? Yeah, I've read it. How how'd you like it? Oh, it's a pretty good book, dude. Um, I I actually sold one of those to me in a Savage Dragon lot. Oh yeah, that's right, you did. Oh, we got third Deadpool, X Force, nice. nice. Yep. See, now I, I put quality things. You did. I want to know what this is. It's a signed book. Oh yeah, uh, J one J one knows. Do you know? Oh, I know. I'm the one that put it in there. That was a minor hit in my one of my bo in my boxes. Green Arrow, number one. Oh, dude. I remember you were telling me about this. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Because that was one that I had gotten. That was a PC one. But I really don't like CBCS, and that would be the only way to get authorized. And I'm not going to send it to CGC to sit there and say, written with marker on. And so I was like, you know what? I'll throw that in as a minor hit. I do have a couple minor hits in my boxes. But, um, but yeah, no juicing of boxes, by the way. Is that the... um, I just put them in dollar denominations and uh, pick. That's not the Kevin Smith run, is it? I believe so. It is, isn't it? Hey, could I get this signed by Kevin Smith, you think? If it's his run, yeah. Is it? Look look and see if it is. Look at the names on no, the bottom. because I could easily get this signed by him. Can you look on the bottom and see if there's any names? No, no names. Just says part one. Quiver part one. Hold on, Quiver? Yeah, that's his. That's his. I was going to say, I, th I think it is, but... Yeah, you, know where that, you know where Kevin Smith lives, right? No. New Jersey? Yep. Uh, wait, wait, who was it signed by? I don't even know. I didn't even look at that. Um, Phil Hester and Aiden Parks. You know Aiden. what you need to do? So you need to have Kevin Smith sign it and then have him verify the signatures and send it into CGC. Dude. That way he can say, yep, they're real. And then you all can right. have all three yellow label CGC. That, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do that probably this week, next weekend. I'm gonna probably do that, put that over there, dude. I really appreciate that, dude. That is a nice box, guys. Well, it's a mystery box. I didn't like give it to you and know. It was a I know, so. but you know what, guys? <laughs> if you haven't gotten the foil again mystery box, you gotta get it. Come on. Yeah, I still got, I still got some left. Um, obviously, you didn't get the GP, but you did get a minor hit. Um, and uh, each box you'll see comes pretty much like that. He guarantees um, eight books. He gives me ten. At least eight, um, if not ten. Yeah. I usually try to load up the boxes um, yeah. as best as I can. Obviously, if I, obviously, if way I throw in like a, way I, Yeah, obviously, if I throw in like a fifty dollar book, I'm not going to be able to load the whole box up or whatever. Um, but you know, but yeah, I mean, I try to do my best. Um, Try to keep it fair. Um, if I get things at a good price, I throw them in, and because uh, I want everybody to to have some nice books. So I'm gonna talk to you about this later on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta talk to you about this. Alrighty, now Thanks. get back to me. So I show my bangers that are definitely not going in a mystery box. <laughs> uh, or actually, who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll consider one of them, but definitely not this one. Um, or I'll show these ones first. Maybe one of these. So here we have Star Wars number eight. This is the first appearance of Jackson. Let me. There we go. Oh, yeah. Sweet book. But if you don't know who Jackson is. You must not have read the comics because that's the only place he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson, the bunny guy, wherever he is, right there. Yeah, hold on, uh, bam. Yeah, super dope. Um, nice old Star Wars first print newsstand. So, you know, it is really cool. Um, I am selling it. Um, but like I said, there might be a possibility I take the listings down, but if they don't sell, and maybe I'll throw one in. Um, that's like I said. I like to put some little hits in uh, these boxes, but. And then next, we have Star Wars number six. This is the classic cover of Luke Skywalker fighting Darth Vader. Uh, 
There we go. Good one. I know it's hard because they're in top loaders, but I want to protect them. So, <laughs> and then of course, as I say that, I don't have the other one in it, but um, that's because I literally just got it like fresh off the press. Oh, this hey, hold on, Foil. Do you have a question in the chat, bud? Oh, I do. Um, let me see. Um, uh, where is the foiled mystery box sold? Um, IG. IG. You can go to Foiled Again Comics. Um, it's Foiled underscore Again underscore Comics. Um, I have so many posts now. Um, just do me a favor. Just DM me. Um, you can find me pretty easily. It has a picture of cable. Uh, but yeah, they're twenty seven dollars shipped to us. Um, I do sell to my Canadian friends. Um, shipping is a, li a little bit more obviously because it's to Canada, but um, you know I don't mind. I uh, I do try to hook up my Canadian friends. Um, I know, I know sometimes it's kind of tough out there. I've had people at can the Canadian guys ask me, "Do you know anyone out here that does mystery boxes?" I don't know a soul out in Canada that does mystery boxes, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, totally twenty-seven dollars shipped. Um, Three dollars of it goes to Honda Jabronis. Um, GoFundMe still, still honoring that. But um, but yeah, definitely go check it out. If you get one, it's twenty-seven, and if you get two, um, how much was it? I think it was like. I don't know. I think I said it was like forty-seven or something. I can't remember, but it, I'll, it'll be a discount if you get multiple. Um, it's a great deal either way. Yeah, I mean, as you see, every box is going to be like that. J One's gotten good boxes from me. Um, uh, who else? You can go to Pickle Joe's channel. You can go to Stevie B's. Um, I think there's another one or two out there, like low-key ones that have my boxes up there too, including one of the my Canadian guys. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, trying to get my boxes bigger. Um, that's why this round, the GP is world's finest 293 first appearance of void and null, um, not K N U L L, but N U L L. And yes, I said void first to, uh, get J one, a Bob upset. Um, no and void, sir. No and void. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, go check them out. Every box is a banger. You actually might see some of these books in uh, the box because half the time I just uh, – I'm like, you know what? I don't need to sell it. I don't mind giving it to someone. So you might see one of these books in a box. You might even see that $50 one in a box. Who knows? But, um, but, yeah, definitely for sure. And I post stuff for claims up on my page. Um, so you can check those out too. But, yeah, foiled again comics it's foiled underscore again underscore comics on ig if you don't have ig um then you can get it uh-oh evan you're on camera and we can't hear you i'm sorry uh he probably wants instagram here he is I don't know what happened. It just booted <laughs> me out real quick. So, but if you if you don't have IG, um, I guess you can leave a comment in the description, and or uh, I'll uh, drop my email or something. And we can work it out. Possibly um, when, it's, when books like these, dude. In the yeah, mystery. yeah. Like, I, I do have minor hits. Um, no, no. I was going to say a couple of the other minor hits, but I'm not going to because J1A Bob might be getting one. And uh, and uh, actually, J1A Bob might be getting two since uh, he has two two that are he's going to have from me. Um, Pickle Joe's going to have one. Got a couple people that are going to get some boxes. So definitely be sure to go check it out. And with that being said, I'm going to throw out my last big banger. The biggest banger this week, Star Wars number 42. First Boba. This actually just came fresh off the press. This is going to CGC. I already have the packing ready. I already have the label ready. But biggest banger. Um, yeah, that's going to be really cool to uh, get that back from CGC. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my uh, pickups for this week. 
I had a couple. I had more, but they sold so and shipped. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wish I could have shown the other ones, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, that that was uh, the uh, stacks for this week. Thanks, man. I do have more coming in, but you know, USPS takes their sweet little time. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Dude, at any given time, I think I have about 50 to 100 books on order. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty bad. But, you know, it is what it is. But day one, you got you got your bangers, right? I got my bangers. And I, I went ahead and I did pull one down of the of the three. Right? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be I'm gonna share one. So, so this is the one that Foil picked up from me. This is the Venom. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler Kirkham, Kodak. I was telling Evan about that book because I was like, dude, I was like, check out this cover. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a sweet, sweet book. He, I, I, I gave him a good solid on it. Very solid. All right, uh, this is one of my bangers that I picked up. This is uh, Revenge of the Cosmic Ghost Rider, number one. From Scorpion Comics, just a sick, sick crane cover. Let me see if I can't do this a little better here. There we go. It's a nine point eight. Yeah, that one's that one's really nice. I mean, just a. That would be if you're a Ghost Rider fan. That, oh, like, yeah. that would be a must to get that. There we go. So you can see the other side of it better. That is sick, dude. That is a sick cover. I agree. But this one, next one here is way sicker. So we'll start with the back. So it's a uh, Venom number one annual by Scorpion Comics. Oh yeah, yeah. This, yeah. this right here is Titan Crane. This is called the Toxin. Toxic variant. Number B of his uh, Venom number one annual. They only did 1,000 copies. Uh, Sam Delato. No, I'm sorry, I said Sam Delato. Ha! Sam De La Rosa bought 10 of these. I was going to say, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I think he just mixed two artists. <laughs> yeah, so Sam De La Rosa bought 10 of these and signed and sketched them and numbered them accordingly. And uh, this is the only one that got sent to CGC. All the other nine copies were bought and kept raw. And I got a nice, beautiful 9.8. And it's even labeled on the label, 6 of 10. So. Yeah, I think that's awesome that you have the only one in the CGC census. Yeah. This should be the only one of this cover signed and sketched by him in the CGC census. But, uh. Yeah, unless you know somebody else buys one from there, but we'll see. But yeah, this is you know kind of PC for right now, but it'll probably go up for sale at some point. Right now, it's still just you know, it's still sitting at PC prices. But yep, that was the last two. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Really nice. Go I like the Ghost Rider. You didn't like the Venom Annual? <sighs> Dude, I don't like anything about him. <laughs> I know, but that's a sick, sick cover book. It is a cover. Oh, no, I know. But he hates Donnie Cates. He wishes death upon Donnie Cates. No, 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 and yeah, now it's just words. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah. But um, you know, teach your own writer, artist. Um, same thing with Peach Momoko. How everyone says she's a little too hype. Yeah, that's another one. I think is a little too hyped. So you can tell he's a new. He's a uh, he's a youngster. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, I have to ask, are we just about 
wrapped up? Yeah, we're wrapped up. And I'm not trying to rush, but my wife's like, Oh no, it's all right. I'm free. You want to show off your favorite book one more time? Oh, please do. That's you awesome, dude. You too foiled your bubble fat. Bubble fat. Dude, I'm gonna try to get this signed by Kevin and send it out. Because you don't like Donnie, I'll put this one up. <laughs> put the Donnie heats up. Okay. There's a, major, <laughs> there's a major price difference between these. I believe it. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anything nice, signed man. yellow label automatically goes up to like, Anything. Uh, like $300. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today. Thank hey, you for man. having the comments, tuning in. And uh, I hope you guys find some more stuff over the weekend and uh, yep. over the week. And we'll do this again. Thanks, guys. Thank Hey, thank you. Y'all have a good one. Yep. You